What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on another version of a pop art zombie. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to start off with skin prep as usual. We're going to outline any decaying parts of our skin. For me, I wanted to have my mouth decayed and all ripped apart and have some holes in my skin as well as my chest. Then we're going to go in with one of our favorite flesh tones from our Wolf Essentials palette, the Monster palette. Okay, I chose this color because, I don't know, I wanted to kind of create a realistic pop art zombie. Is that a thing? I don't even know if that's a thing. But anyway, I'm going to then go in with a brown shade to create all the hollowness for the cheekbones, the temples, the collarbone, and so forth. I'm now going in with a more orange reddish shade around the eyes and on the inner parts of the cuts that we're gonna have on our face. Then I'm going to be dipping into the Mayron Paradise paints with a deeper red. I just kind of want to deepen up the hollowness around the eyes as well as the cuts. So pretty much with the cuts, we're going to be layering. So of course on the inner parts, it's going to be a little lighter with that orange reddish shade. And then the outer parts are going to be a little more red. And then we're going to dive in with a black to really deepen up those cuts that we're going to have. And then deepen up the hollows of our eyes as well. Then you're going to see we're going to do one of my absolute favorite things scrunching up all the different parts of our face to create these beautiful wrinkles that we all live for on a daily. So you wanna scrunch up that forehead, you wanna create like a weird face, I guess, for your eyebrows, the nose area, and of course, squint your little eyes to create the wrinkles around your crow's feet so we can accentuate those wrinkles. So to create this really malnourished look, you wanna go on ahead and take a black shadow and deepen up those hollows around the collarbone. I chose to use a shadow instead of a paint being that I wanted an easier blendability and later on we're gonna go in with the black paint anyway for the pop art effect. We're now going to highlight all of those wrinkles as well as the cuts like I told you guys we'd do earlier to really create that pop art effect. Halfway through, I realized I never created an actual temple even though I was contouring in that area. So I took some black and red paint to create that little decaying temple area. I then started painting black over my eyeballs, or sorry, eyelids. What I like to do is at the end, I'll close my eyes and that's supposed to like be my eyeballs. However, I went over this with white, so I don't even know why I'm showing you guys this now. Um, I don't like to wear contacts because I don't know how to really put contacts in without hurting myself. So if you guys have any good tips, let me know. Because for now, this is how I, I do my eyes. All right, so appreciate it. Um, we're then gonna create some little chiclets for our teeth using white. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go in with a deep red to create the gums, some black to create that shadow. And then I'm gonna kind of go over the teeth with a little bit of yellow to create like that decaying effect. And then I'm going to mix the red and black to create like a deeper gum effect the higher up I go. Because again, this is supposed to be like a decaying mouth where everything is just, it's decaying. Like I don't know another way to even explain that to you guys. I need to get better with my makeup vocabulary and I promise I will because makeup terminology is just not my thing, but I'll get there. I'm now going to highlight around the mouth just to kind of make it look a little more risen and then I'm gonna highlight around the teeth as well. And of course, this wouldn't be a perfect zombie tutorial if I didn't add a little bit of blood, duh. Oops, got a little bit on the backdrop. 
Anyway, what I like to do with the Graftobian gel blood paint is add a little bit of water. That way I can loosen it up and add it to any wounds that I may have created onto the face. And this, guys, is the last touch to my final look. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more looks you want to see for the season, please let me know down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So until next time, mwah.